This is the RS3M 2020 and it is now two years old. So how does it stand up to today's competition? To start with, let's talk about the performance of this cube. I noticed that it has a blocky feeling when turning, which means that it can lock up quite a lot sometimes. However, what is great about this cube is despite its very cheap price, it does have a tensioning system as well as a screw and spring. Two years ago, the weight of a cube wasn't as important as it is now, meaning that this cube is fairly heavy and has a weird, dense sound when turning. My personal preference on the magnets is that they are too weak, but I have heard some people saying they are perfect, so that isn't too big of an issue on this cube. Out of the box, this cube has a fairly large amount of spring noise, as well as a small coating of factory lube. I feel as though in 2022, most cubes would come out of the factory with a fair amount of piece lube and dampened spring noise. So now let's compare this cube. I feel that it would be unfair to compare it to a GAN flagship that's nearly five times more expensive, but I also think that would be quite funny. So I'm going to do that anyway. And you will probably be surprised how this RS3M stands up against this flagship. The GAN 12M Leap weighs a lot less in comparison to the RS3M, which can be a downside for some people because they may think that the GAN 12 feels cheap and low quality. Taking a look at the internals of both cubes, you can see that the GAN pieces look more premium as they are made up of more components, whereas the RS3M is just made up of two pieces. Looking at the corner pieces, the GAN cube has core magnets, which obviously the RS3M doesn't. And on the GAN 12, they can be adjusted to match whatever preference you have. Now, if we look at the tensioning system on each, you will notice that the GAN 12 has a specially designed system, whereas the RS3M does just have a spring, a screw, and a just weird blue bit that you can adjust. So how does this cheap budget cube compare to this very expensive GAN flagship? Well, I actually get pretty similar times on both cubes, but I feel way more comfortable turning the GAN cube, which may just be because I've mained it for so long. And with that, let's compare this RS3M to the newer cubes to see how it stands up against them. Starting with the RS3M 2021, which is the upgraded version of this cube. Personally, I don't think that the Maglev edition is worth the extra three pounds, but I am yet to actually try this cube, so I might be wrong. From what I have seen, the 2020 cube is identical to the 2021 version, apart from the spring being replaced with Maglev technology. Now comparing it to a slightly newer cube, the MGC Evo. This cube has a way better tensioning system as it doesn't consist of a screw and spring, which makes it much easier to adjust. The MGC EVO also has adjustable magnets on the edge pieces, which can be way more convenient for some people like me who feel that the RS3M magnets are a little bit too weak. Also, like I mentioned about the GAN 12, the MGC internals actually look way more premium because they're made up of way more components than the simple RS3M design. I also feel that the MGC has much nicer turning as it's way more smooth than the RS3M blocky turning, but that's personal preference again. All of these things that the MGC has may not be worth nearly double the price of the RS3M, so that's really up to you. After comparing it to some newer models, how do I think the RS3M stands up to today's competition? Do I think that the RS3M 2020 is still a good cube for today? And the short answer to that is yes. The RS3M is an amazing cube for such a cheap price and it is great for people of all experience, even after two years. In comparison to the other cubes, I think that there are certainly better options, but they are all more expensive, with the GAN 12 being five times more expensive. Which means that I still think that the RS3M is definitely worth the price. If you found this useful, then please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.